Hello, welcome to the National Literacy Agency online storytelling program. I the story, tell me a story. Today I have a story from the Jewish tradition and the title of this story is Feathers in the Wind. There are different versions to this story and I will tell you the one that my mother used to tell me when I was your age. So it is story time. You look and you listen. Once upon a time there was a village and in this village, like in any other village, there was a woman who spent her time gossiping and gossiping and gossiping. She sat down with her women friends and the gossiping went on about the bad things she said others had done. Can you believe what he did? Can you believe what she said? Shame on them. Can you believe? And the stories went on and on and on. The stories spread around the village, causing much, much trouble. Friends became enemies. Husbands and wives separated. Mothers were angry at the children all because of the gossip of one lady. One day, the spiritual leader, the rabbi, sent for this woman. She felt very important and she went at the rabbi's place. Is there anything I can do for you? She said. Yes, my dear. Would you cook for me today? We will dine together. That made her feel so proud and important. But yes, of course, she said. So, you go out in the yard and you can choose any rooster you like. Roast it. And the woman went into the yard and she looked at all the roosters. Mm. Mm. And she picked a big fat rooster. She showed it to the rabbi. I will cook this today. Yes, said the rabbi. That is fine. But please remember that I want you to save the feathers. Take a pillowcase and put the feathers inside the pillowcase because I need the feathers. Yes, yes, said the woman. And she got the rooster. She chopped off the head, chop, and she plucked the feathers. took all the feathers and put them inside the pillowcase. She put the rooster on a bed of onions and she put potatoes all around the rooster and she sprinkled some spices on, some fresh spices on, some fennel seeds. Mm, when she put it in a stone oven, there was a heavenly smell. When the rooster was ready, she and the rabbi dined together. Mmm, that was a lovely meal, said the rabbi. I am so pleased you came. And the woman asked if she could do anything else. Besides washing the dishes, of course. 
but the rabbi said that there was one important thing she had to do before anything else. He asked her to take the pillowcase, go up on the roof and put her hand inside the pillowcase and put it inside out. But what about the feathers? Yes, exactly. That is what I want you to do. I want you to release all the feathers in the wind. Take the pillow, bring it inside out and free the feathers in the wind. I will. She went up on the roof and did exactly what the rabbi told her to do. And she watched the feathers billow up into the air, over the hills and the valleys and other rooftops and the streets and everywhere. And she went down to the rabbi. Anything else I can do for you before I wash the dishes? Yes, my dear. Yes. Will you please go outside and pick up the feathers? Find the feathers and put them back in the pillowcase. But how can I find the feathers? It is such a windy day. I have seen the feathers billow up into the air, over the hills and the valleys on other rooftops. How can I pick them up and put them together? Yes, you are right, my dear friend, said the rabbi. And that is what happens with words and idle gossip. That is what happens. Who knows how far your words and idle gossip go? Who knows the harm they cause? And the woman was so ashamed. She couldn't even look at the rabbi. She knew exactly what he wanted to say. The message came across very clearly. She was ashamed. She wouldn't look. He made her promise that from that day on, she would stop and think before she talked. He told her, it is important that you stop and think before you speak. You never know the harm you do. You never know the harm you cause. And so the woman did what the rabbi asked her to do. From that day on, she stopped to think before she spoke. And this is the end of our story today. It was a short story, but the learning is huge. So, I'm just going to repeat what the rabbi told the woman. Think before you speak. Gossip can be evil. I do hope you have learned a lot from this story today. So until the next story, bye bye for now.